Hello everyone. Today we're going to build a reply bot that can help boost engagement and increase the visibility of your Twitter account. This bot will allow you to automatically reply to tweets from any account of your choice. In this tutorial, we'll use Noah Kagan's tweets as an example, but you can easily set it up to reply to any account you prefer. To build this bot, we'll combine three powerful tools with Make.com. One, Twitter or X API. Two, ChatGPT. Three, now RSS.com. While this setup isn't entirely free, it's highly affordable. By the end of this video, you'll have a fully functional bot capable of responding to tweets in a smart, automated, and efficient way. Let's dive in. First, go to make.com and create a new scenario. Choose custom webhook as the trigger. This webhook will activate the sequence when there's a new tweet. Generate a webhook link and click save. Head over to nowrss.com to get Noah's Twitter feed. Click the new feed source button. Name the feed and paste the link of the Twitter account you want to track. Let's give it a few seconds to pull the feed from the account's timeline. Next, create a new operation on make.com and select chat GPT. To proceed, you'll need to connect make.com with your chat GPT developer account, which requires some credits. One, log in to your chat GPT developer account. Two, go to the project you want to use and navigate to API keys. Three, create a new key, copy the secret key, and paste it into make.com. Click save to finalize the connection. Now your make.com scenario is linked with ChatGPT and ready to use. Let's continue setting up ChatGPT. Choose your preferred ChatGPT model. For this example, I selected GPT-4.0 mini. Set up the message you want to process. Here's my example. You are replying to Noah Kagan's tweet. Just make a simple comment about this tweet. Do not use hashtags. The tweet. This message works well, but feel free to customize the message as per your needs. Now let's head back to nowrss.com and review the feed. You can see it has successfully pulled tweets from the account's timeline. Next, we'll take the webhook link that we generated from make.com and paste it into the feed source on now RSS. Let's now test the webhook. Go to any tweet in the feed and click Test Webhook. You should see the message Webhook Tested appear. In make.com, you'll also see Successfully Determined to indicate everything is connected correctly. In the ChatGPT module, we'll add the tweet that we received from the webhook to the message we want to send to ChatGPT. The final module we're going to add is Twitter, now known as X. This requires linking to your Twitter X account. Make sure you choose version 5, not version 6, and select Make an API Call module. To link your Twitter account to make.com, you need to get your API key and a PI key secret. To do this, let's open the Twitter developer portal. If you don't have a developer account yet, you'll be prompted to sign up using your regular Twitter account. Just enter the required information and click Submit to proceed.
Let's get the API keys and secret. One, open any project in your Twitter developer portal. Two, go to keys and tokens. Three, next to API key and API secret, click generate. Copy the API key and API secret. Then paste them into make.com and click save. Let's connect X to make.com. We need to make a few additional adjustments in the X project to finalize the setup. Open your X project and navigate to the user authentication settings. Click on setup to access the configuration options. Next, update the app permissions to read, write, and direct message. Next, copy the callback URL provided by make.com and paste it into the appropriate field in the X project settings. Finally, set the app type to web app, automated app, or bot. Now let's try again to connect X to make.com. Now, your Twitter account is connected to make.com. Let's continue with the settings. Add slash two slash tweets as the call URL. In the call body, enter curly brackets with text for the chat GPT response. and reply with in reply to tweet ID as the tweet you reply to which you can get from the webhook data as ID. Now let's test the bot. Turn the scenario on and go to nowrs.com Click test webhook on any tweet. The first two operations were successful, but the third one was not. Let's fix it. Make sure the call method is set to post, not get and put the chat GPT response and tweet ID in quotation marks. Save the changes and test again. This time it was successful. Let's check out our tweet. Here it is.
The final step is to activate the feed source in NowRSS.com to regularly check for new tweets and trigger the webhook automatically. This will make your bot work on its own.